Hi, this is Isaac with the San Jose team on four. Um, I'm on our back porch right now, and the hill you see behind me is called the Hill of the Cross because of the cross that was mounted on the top of it to as a memorial for the six people that were killed in 2000 by paramilitaries here in La Union in this, this village here where we live. About two days ago, I was in bed. It was about 7.30 in the morning. Um, my teammate was making oatmeal and coffee when a very large explosion went off, large enough that it shook our house, and it came right from that hill right there. After the explosion, there was about 20 minutes of combat involving rifle fire, machine gun fire, and smaller explosions that we probably think were, were grenades. Um, and while this was a really frightening experience, it wasn't a surprise to us. It wasn't a surprise to us because on the other side of that of that hill, there has been a military encampment for, the about, for about four months. And we've said amongst ourselves and also in meetings with the military that such close proximity of a military encampment puts, puts this village and us at risk of being caught in crossfire between the, when the guerrilla would attack that encampment. And then the day after the combat, yesterday, there were several radio news stories that reported on the event. And most of them pretty much said the same thing. It was that there are troops near the peace community and that they're here protecting the peace community from the terrorists and that they were doing their rounds or taking a census and one of them stepped on a mine near the peace community that was placed near the peace community and died. And that's what happened. And that's all they reported. And this, and I just want to highlight three things that that news story is portraying that highlights the strategy of the state in terms of what the truth they're giving to the country and internationals. The first is that they're here for the civilian security, for the peace community security. They say that even though the peace community is quite explicit in saying they don't want their president, that that doesn't bring them security. And they say that this about an event that blatantly shows that their presence doesn't bring security. Second message that that news story is bringing is that the peace community is somehow aligned with the guerrilla. They explicitly stated that, they, that the mine was placed near the peace community. And given the history of the efforts of the government to paint the community in a bad light as in with the guerrilla, that also acts as another kind of insinuating condemnation of the peace community, which can be really dangerous in the context where accusations often leads to threats or to murder. Um, the third thing that these news stories really say, though, that there was no combat at all. They just completely negate that there was any, they don't let on that there's any attack by the guerrilla at all. So when I was talking to, when we were talking to our neighbors about some of these things and voicing our frustration with these blatant lies about what had happened, a lot of people, while they were, while they were angry and also worried as well, were not surprised. This falls directly into the discourse of the state for the community they consistently want to portray their role in the peace community or around the peace community as being here for for the peace community security at the same time saying that that they are being attacked by those that they're protecting accusing the peace community of being being with the guerrilla and along with that feeding to the international community that there is no war there's nothing wrong going on that there's no combat the day after the combat, we called the, the battalion that's in charge of, of this area and whose soldiers are up on that hill right now. And an official battalion told me that what had happened was an inconvenience with an armed group, that we shouldn't be worried, and nothing, nothing bad happened. And that there were no deaths and no injuries, although it was going out on multiple radio stations that a soldier had died. It just shows you the blatant disinformation the military is willing to give international community or whoever to reinforce their image that the war here is over, that the guerrilla is no longer a threat, that this massive militarization of the zone all around the peace community is working. Um, and so just as you as you hear stories about Colombia and what's going on here, please keep in mind the experience of the peace community and what we're seeing here in La Union um, on a daily basis. Thanks.